Okay, so so now this is oh yes sir you got yourself Okay, so today I'll be making carbonara. I'll be using spaghetti, but you can always use a different pasta if you want to. You can use fettuccine, linguine, whatever pasta you want to use. You can even use penne if you want to. It's up to you, man. So, ingredients. I'll be using, as I said, spaghetti. Some bacons. You can add more, you can add less if you want to. You can also use pancetta, cured pancetta or just regular bacon pancetta this is a fresh one uh, pork belly actually but since I'm gonna add a lot of bacon hopefully this one absorbs more of the flavor of the bacon also at the same time cream I know some prefer not to use cream but it's up to you me I'm gonna use cream Eggs, three pieces of eggs. I'll be using two yolks and I'll be doing something with one whole egg. Your cheese, you can use parmesan, ideally parmesan, but I don't have any parmesan right now, so I'm just gonna use the grana padano. Also, oil, you have the option of using butter or olive oil. Butter gives you more flavor. But if you're gonna use butter, try to use the unsalted one because your bacon is already salty. You don't want to add extra salt on your food. So while doing all of this, while you're cutting your bacons and separating your yolks, try to boil your water for your pasta because it takes a long time to cook. Always add salt on your pasta water and when you're gonna cook it when, well when you're going to cook your pasta add your oil any oil will do I just prefer to use olive oil okay so separating your yolk you have a few different methods in separating your yolk so I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you maybe two just to crack it Be careful not to crack your yolk. So that's your first method. Second one, a lot messier. So there you go. Those are the two methods you can use when separating your egg yolk from your egg whites. Okay, so like I said, adding cream on your carbonara is just optional. Some people don't want to add cream and just prefer to cook it with the egg whites. Uh, sorry, the egg yolks. But for me, I'm gonna use the cream. So what I'll do is just going to mix this one, the cream and the egg yolks. If you also want, you can add more egg yolks with this one. But since I'm just gonna use around 350 grams of pasta, I think two egg yolks is more than enough. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna beat this and mix them. your cream and egg mixture okay so while waiting for the pasta water to boil what I'll do is I'm gonna cook now or render the fat out of the bacon and the, the meat so first things first that you need to put you can use your oil or your butter like I said if you're gonna use butter make sure that it is 
unsalted one because your bacon is already salty. Okay, so butter is melted already. Put your meat. Okay, so what I did since the meat, the first thing that I did was too big, I had to cut it a little more smaller, a lot smaller, and I'm using the heat at around high heat. So once you get a good color like this, you can add your bacon. Same thing you will do, you need to render the fat from the bacon so that the flavor of the bacon will go out. Okay, so after rendering your bacon and the panceta, what you need to do if it creates too much oil, which it will do, you can uh, just remove them. You can save the oil if you want to. You can always use that for cooking to give the food that you're gonna cook with a bacon flavor, especially if you're gonna cook uh, fried rice. It's gonna be okay. But you don't want your carbonara to be too oily, so any extra oil you can remove. Okay, so now the water is boiling. So you just add oil. And then the spaghetti or whatever pastas you're gonna use. Okay, so you let this cook for, well, depends on in the instruction of your pasta that it says. If it says eight to nine minutes, cook it at around eight to nine minutes, but occasionally you should check if the bottom uh, the pasta at the bottom doesn't stick so sometimes you need to stir it also so yeah eight and a half minutes for me and we'll see okay so to do poached egg what you need to do is water and vinegar so you just need to add a good amount of vinegar in that one not too much maybe around i don't know good amount uh, the water should be just simmering and not boiling you don't want it to uh, making big bubbles as it will make your egg uh, not form a sil uh, circular uh, form it would just be everywhere another thing the quality of the egg also matters the fresher it is the better the longer it is the bad or it won't form in a way that is good also keep your eggs on your chiller as it would stay fresh a lot longer so this one is too far uh, too strong so i need to lower down the heat okay so temperature now is a lot better so what i like to do is my personal preference is i swirl it okay when it is already making the water go around i like to drop this as my whole egg I like to drop it almost in the middle. So as you can see, the egg whites are still forming around the egg yolks. If your eggs are not that fresh, it would take or it would make the egg whites go everywhere except on the egg yolks. Also, another reason why you want the water to not be boiling is because the same reason the egg whites would also go everywhere if the what uh, if the water is boiling. So I'm just gonna cook this for around maybe two three minutes, more or less, or until the egg whites are fully cooked, but not the egg yolk. Okay, so time to remove this one. Like I said, be careful when removing your eggs. Drain as much water as you can. And that's it, you got yourself a poached egg. Okay, so now that the bacon is cooked, maybe overcooked a little bit, too crispy, but hey, I like it that way. Time to add your pasta. Now, 
This is the time you add your egg and cream mixture. Lower your heat if you don't want this to cook too fast or too hot because it would cook the egg and it would curdle. curdle. So now if you want to add salt and pepper, this is the time you're going to put it. Also if you're going to use uh, peppers, black pepper, don't use black pepper, use the white pepper. It would blend in with, with the pasta. Some people don't like to add cream, so if you don't want to add cream, just add the egg yolks here. Make sure you beat the egg first. yourself carbonara okay so now time to put that one and then your cheese you can put a good amount of cheese if you want to Some chopped cilantro, no, parsley. Never cilantro. Cilantro flavor is too strong for me. Okay, so, so now this is, oh yes sir. You got yourself a poached egg. yeah okay a few things that i did wrong here uh, first things first was i used fresh pancetta instead of using the cured one and the bacon was overcooked so cook the bacon a lot less don't make it too crispy also the poached egg poached egg i could have cooked it a few seconds less or maybe a minute less so that the egg yolk would be a lot runnier so we're at the end so i'm just gonna tell you that i have pesto and gnocchi alla romana coming out next and do please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video thank you